Hi, so I wanted to follow up this post I said to my, um, I declared that I'm not really a tarot card reader. And some people had some interesting comments, and, you know, I had a couple haters that mentioned this, um, earlier last year, because I have never been a tarot card reader in a store, like, I've never read in a, um, like, a New Age shop or a bookstore, I never did that. Um, I've been booked as a psychic um, for various shows that were um, weekly shows. So I did that mostly in Seattle. So um, I was part of a group of uh, psychics who um, would perform for about 30 people um, once a, one night a week. And it was a consecutive thing. And, um, it was basically a showcase. So, you showcase, you get random objects from the crowd. Uh, you do a reading off that object. And then the person stands up and says, hey, this is my object after you give the reading. So, it's completely, um, anonymous. And then, if people like the way you read or you're really accurate, then they'll book you for, um, more sessions. And sometimes I use tarot cards, sometimes I didn't. Uh, there's a thing called, um psychometry where you can read in the aura, the energy or the memories from an object and that's a lot of work that we did um i've also been on block talk radio um different diviner spotlights as well as um talking about the project and i've been just an independent reader um reading families since like 11 and then um but, you know, didn't really take me seriously. They take me seriously now. I have actually have a lot of family members call me up now for tarot card readings, which I think is hysterical. Um, since it was kind of just seen as like a, you know, a game or hobby um, when I was younger. Um, then in college, um, professionally, did Reiki as well. Um, a lot of my Reiki clients asked for readings. Or I just told them what, during the course of a Reiki session, what I saw in my head. And that's how I did it. So I wasn't really um, a tarot card reader. I was more of a psychic. And I'm a, I don't even like psychic. I like to say intuitive. I'm also a spiritualist. Um, I don't know. Uh, I, I think when I tried to do this project... I kind of put myself, try to put myself in this box, you know, I was part of all these organizations that are tarot, and, you know, I like the community, and I kind of forced myself to be, um, be put in these boxes and labels, which I didn't really like, because I read tarot intuitively, so I don't really always use the prescribed, um, or the properly, properly defined definitions of certain cards, or... Uh, what's supposed to be in a certain card. Um, I don't really use Lenormand too much. Or actually, I never really got it. Um, this is a famous French spiritualist a system of working, and that's more intuitive, I would think. But, you know, there's different definitions that go to, diff to different cards. Um, but that's just someone else's system, and it becomes popular. So, you know, like... Like her, I made my own system um, using spirits that I'm familiar with and archetypes and concepts I'm familiar with. So, um, I also like to use oracle cards. I like oracle cards mainly for the um, artwork. Um, I love the artwork and even some tarot decks are, have really pretty beautiful artwork. Um, but yeah, I don't really consider myself like this uh, tarot card reader expert more like I just use tarot cards as a divination tool and I don't really get neurotic with definitions like some other people in the industry do and that's okay I, that's not my thing I'm I kind of stay in my lane I try to be myself and um hopefully people and my clients appreciate that because I'm not really trying to be anyone else. I'm not trying to be like anyone else. And it seems like every time I try to emulate or try to be like someone else, I run into problems. 
Um, yeah. Um, a lot of this, I keep saying, be yourself, be yourself, because this was told to me last Friday. Like, I, um, I went to Umbana Tejero, and a Babalo Risha was possessed by a spirit called Zé Palentro, who was very popular in Brazil, mainly because he came from, um, a lot of other different types of, uh, traditions like Cachimbo, and, um, uh, Jerema, and he's kind of, a kind of a character that, uh, wears a lot of different hats, even though he, he wears his white and red hat, but, um, he's very popular in many different houses, and he kind of just grabbed my head, and kind of shook it, and he was just talking, gave me a lot of interesting advice, it was all in Portuguese, um, and... Yeah, most of it was like trying to just be myself because um, that's what I need to do um, for better or for worse. Um, this is me. This is the body I was born into, the spirit I have, and make the best of it. Be myself and, you know, stop trying to be like some... Like some type of box because I'm not don't really fit into boxes like once I find myself in a box I usually break out of it pretty quickly um I'm sorry for some of my videos like I use profanity but again that's me being myself I'm sorry so talk to you later bye